Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, I'm going to give you the updates on what's going on with this monster storm and this crazy setup that we're about to go into. Still bringing damage and winds, blizzard conditions, major snowfall, and what's going on with this system. So, right now, we have Invest 96L. It is at 29 miles per hour winds, moving 14 miles per hour to the west. And you can see clearly with all of these possible locations that it could head to the north, but most of them are showing that it will go still towards Puerto Rico and maybe go a little northern on Dominican Republic or go into our Caribbean, which a lot of them are showing. And the biggest problem is what's going to happen when it goes past Puerto Rico. So Dominican Republic is a big island with a lot of high elevations and it can tear apart a cyclone very quick. So whether it goes northern on Dominican Republic or southern on Dominican Republic is what's going to change everything on what happens with this next wave. And there is a few members that is saying, oh, it could just easily curve up to the north. But what I'm seeing with this high pressure that it's going to continue to go west, maybe north later. But what I'm seeing with the NASA satellite that it will stay remain blocked from this cold front and carry further to the west. So you can see this morning we have our Invest 96L and this is in a medium range so you can see what's going on with the dry air. And as you can see it has a lot of dry air in front of it but all this dry air is getting lifted north while this heads to the west. That's why it remains weak for the whole time until it gets towards the Leeward Islands then going towards Puerto Rico, then it's going to be away from this dry air and it has a lot of precipitation in the Caribbean. So it has a lot of chances to strengthen up as it goes through the Caribbean. Now the eight o'clock update has shown a lot of strength. Matter of fact, it is at 70% chance in 48 hours, 70% chance in five days. And the update is that it has persisted overnight and are showing signs of organization. Although upper level winds are not particularly conducive for additional development, only a slight increase in organization would result in the formation of a tropical depression. But whether this forms or not, the Leeward Islands Friday and Friday night, regardless of development, is likely to bring gusty winds and locally heavy rainfall. So just be aware for the Leeward Islands Friday through Saturday. An update on what we have on our potential velocity anomaly, GFS is confirming that we still show a lot of strength once we go from the 18th all the way to the 20th on this system. And that is also what the Euro is seeing. 18th through the 20th is when we have favorable environment for a chance for a cyclone to form. While we get unfavorable environment after that and another opportunity beginning of October. Another unfavorable environment for the middle of October. And a big opportunity for late October. A big banger coming in our direction. So as we take a look with National Hurricane Center, see what's going on for the next 24 to 72 hours. That's pretty much as far as we can take it with this system, especially with the Euro, it is flip-flopping everywhere. So with National Hurricane Center in 24 hours, it's showing it could get a surface low. Matter of fact, in 48 hours, it could remain having its surface low. And the main setup that we have here is we have our system, but we have this high pressure here. And this high pressure is just spinning around pulling everything to the west. That's why this wave has to follow this category. Now, if the high pressure retracts back, then it will pull it up to the north. If the high pressure comes forward and expands, it will continue to go to the west, just like the Canadian is seeing, just like the NASA satellite is seeing. A lot of models are showing that this is still going into our Gulf. And in 72 hours, National Hurricane Center has it downgrading to where it will weaken up. And that has been a trend for a while that it will remain weak until it gets towards the Western Caribbean, maybe the Bahamas, and strengthen up. So you can see the setup in 72 hours. We have a high pressure spinning right here, pulling this wave to the west, following this ridge of this high pressure. And we have a cold front coming down right here, which will do a block as the cold front comes down and it'll continue to go to the west. So when we look at the model guidance of what could happen according to what everything sees, this is an automatic tropical cyclone forecast. The automatic forecast shows that it does favor it going towards Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic within the next five days. And it could curve up, it could go further west. That's why you literally gotta take this 
three to five days at a time. There's a lot of activity going on in the troposphere, a lot of moving parts. The Canadian model is still consistent, run after run. They just will keep going to the further west, go a little south of Dominican Republic, and that makes the biggest difference. Southern and by the Dominican Republic will bring it further to the west in the Caribbean. Northern of the Dominican Republic would swing it around towards the Bahamas. It all depends if this high pressure will be blocking or not, and I'm still showing it will block. And the Canadian takes it where this black line being your average, more than likely outcome will go right over Cuba, right by Florida Keys, and still get into our Gulf. When we check for a chance for a tropical depression, with the Canadian, you can see literally in 72 hours is right where National Hurricane is saying. Then as it goes towards Dominican Republic within four to five days, it takes it a little more to the southern track and it keeps going to the west, gets blocked by this high pressure and go towards southeast of the Gulf of Mexico into our Gulf. And the Euro takes it to where it goes by Dominican Republic and it favors northern by Dominican Republic, not southern, and swings it around. There is a block right here with this high pressure where it could not go further north. I'll show you. And the Euro has been on a big flip-flop. Let me show you. So you can see in 72 hours, it's going right past Leeward Island, it's going towards Puerto Rico with all this heavy rainfall. Euro is also showing that next wave could take the same track, bring y'all even more rainfall. But as it goes by Dominican Republic, it favors that northern turn and not the southern turn. So literally within five days is when we're gonna know whether this is going north or whether it's going south and going further to the west. And the latest run shows that it will go north, get blocked, we have a big high pressure over here that's rolling in, blocking it, and swinging around into the Atlantic, and that next wave potentially going in the same path. And it's still showing it will remain weak, gather up its strength after it goes by Dominican Republic, still get to a tropical storm for the Bahamas, and leave out a hurricane while the next one comes in, potentially strengthening up as well. But here's the problem I have with that. After it showed that yesterday, the update yesterday, our 12Z with the Euro, showed not only does it stay weak, but it agreed that it takes a southern track by Dominican Republic, and it goes to the Western Caribbean. And it's a big glob of disorganized thunderstorms, but it is a big system. Now this is looking for pressure, so you really can't see what's going on with rotation and spin. But when you look at that shot with your 500 millibar vorticity, even though it shows all this pressure here, you can see all the vorticity actually is in the northern half of that wave as it heads northern. And something happens with this cold front where we have another potential system, something coming towards the southeast. Now this is according to the Euro. The Euro has been flip-flopping a lot. So let me show you the control member of what's going on with what the GFS sees. It sees by the September 22nd that it will be by the Western Caribbean and upper level low, and it will strengthen up and go into our Gulf, maybe towards Texas, maybe towards Louisiana, but that is the control member of the GFS, and that is a more than likely outcome. And the GFS control member is not the only one that sees that. You also have the NASA satellite, the GOES. And as you look where it shows you with the dust, you can see how this wave comes right by the Leeward Islands. It does go by Dominican Republic. But as you see it, it favors going further south, grabbing more precipitation as you go towards the 18th on Sunday and heading right into our Gulf. Just like the control member of the GFS, just like the Canadian is seeing as well. And here's the setup with that. You have your big high pressure, the Bermuda High in Atlantic. You also have the high pressure from the cold front that is moving to the southeast while this stays weak and follows the high pressure moving it to the west. And it has to follow the ridge of the high pressure. Then once it gets towards the Caribbean, towards Cuba, it's still weak but it still has this big block right here where it has to keep going to the west. And it don't take it as strong yet, but it shows it just like the GFS control member. It starts strengthening up once it passes by Cuba 
and starts to become a strong system in our Gulf. And the NASA satellite is seeing the same thing that the Canadian is seeing, still trending, still seeing that this is going into our Gulf, being steered by this high pressure, and possibly going towards Texas or Louisiana. So let me show you what I mean as far as consistent. So we have our Canadian yesterday. Remember, it showed us that all this was going to meet up, and that's what the Euro did see in the update yesterday. There's going to be a big glob over here, then it changed its mind again. So we have the one we showed yesterday, the Canadian, going into our Gulf, strengthening up. We have the update from yesterday, Showing the same thing, except it's showing more strength. Going into our Gulf, a strong system. Then we have the update this morning, according to the Canadian, that it will continue to go southern on the Dominican Republic, travel through the Caribbean, strengthen up once again into our Gulf, and go towards Louisiana or Texas. Just like the NASA satellite is seeing, consistent, run after run with the Canadian. Also showing that it waved behind it, that it wouldn't be too many worries, that it is going to be headed somewhere to the north. Still too far to be sure, but the Canadian has been really consistent on this going towards our Western Caribbean, possibly in our Gulf. And not only that, it's still showing this major snowstorm, damaging winds, possible blizzards coming in from the 19th all the way to the 21st. With this system, it took all the very high winds and put them into Canada. So we're not showing 70s or high 60s. We're still showing high 40s and 50s coming with this possible snowstorm. Still have potential blizzards with this. While you see all the big winds coming across Florida into our Gulf towards Texas and Louisiana. And that is the update with the Canadian. Still bringing major snowfall towards the west, mostly towards Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, even some towards Colorado still. Still bringing major snowfall, still showing over two feet in the higher elevations. Still showing all these freezing temperatures, that's what you see in this red. Still moving in with this cold front, very much Arctic air, strengthening up on the 20th and the 21st and the 22nd. Very cold air coming to our area, helping become with this snowfall as it moves in. And you can see for yourself, it is very cold temperatures for a lot of people. Still talking, getting into the 20s, even for Canada. Still showing the teens in the higher elevations. And it will move over towards the central U.S., the upper Midwest, as you go towards the 23rd. A lot of cool temperatures coming for everybody. It's not reaching super far, but it will affect the central U.S. and the upper Midwest as that moves through. So Canadian has been consistent. The Euro has been flip-flopping left and right. The Euro is back on the curve and back out again. It's not even showing any of this very high damage and winds. It's saying high 40s, maybe a little bit of the 50s, not much. It just changed dramatically. Not even showing any snowfall at all. And the Euro showed this snowfall coming a couple weeks ago. And it's been consistently showing it. And so has the Canadian. Last 24 hours, the Euro has changed. Not even showing freezing temperatures coming in. The Euro is going against everything that we see with the other data that this is happening. The Euro totally flip-flopped. But to update this morning with the Euro, the 6Z only gives you 90 hours, a little over four days, confirms that it will still strengthen up as it goes towards Puerto Rico and passes Puerto Rico. So literally taking this three to five days at a time, guys. The next three days, according to the Euro, next 72 hours, it does bring heavy precipitation towards St. John, towards the Leeward Islands, and it continues to move towards Puerto Rico, bringing them heavy rainfall, bringing Dominican Republic heavy rainfall, and possibly that next wave going in the same path. But the Euro has changed so much. You can see right here as the bowling ball comes in, the Euro don't take it as a bowling ball coming in no more. It's keeping it way high. And the bowling ball actually sits right off the West Coast, bringing a lot of rainfall, a lot of problems for the West Coast if the Euro were to show true. The Canadian is still consistent that we're still getting this big bowling ball of damaging winds. Major snowfall coming through with this monster storm. It has not changed. While that system moves right over Cuba, gets into our Gulf, spinning around by this high pressure, it has to follow the high pressure circling it to the west 
and that's where it goes. At the same time, the Canadian sees that we get a big trough over the northern Atlantic as this moves to the west, and something could come out of that as well. So we definitely have to keep our eyes on the tropics very hard, and we need to keep it three to five days updated of what's going on. The Canadians have been consistent. The Euros changed so much from run to run. Regardless, the next five days of precipitation brings over two inches towards the Leeward Islands, almost three for Puerto Rico, gets heavier as it goes towards Dominican Republic, and in the next 10 days, possibly even more as that next wave comes in that direction. And your wind gusts would be around 30 miles per hour wind gusts, north side loaded, and the next 10 days, maybe some more winds coming with y'all on that next system. I will keep you updated every day, and as we get a little bit closer, I will do afternoon updates just to keep y'all updated on this. So we will know more as we get a little closer. This transition is literally five days away, and this transition will determine what happens down the road. So thank you so much for visiting my channel today. I do hope this has helped y'all in any way. If this has helped you, please consider leaving a like, help support the video, or even share this to your friends or your loved ones. Keep them all informed of what the updates are going on. God bless all of you. May God keep all of you and your family safe during this time. Psalm 82. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Selah. If you've never been here before, Selah means think about what you just heard. So I'll repeat that. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Selah. Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy, rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness, all the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth. For thou shalt inherit all nations. <laughs> Amen. Have a great day today, guys. I will start doing afternoon updates starting tomorrow. God bless you all. Keep you all safe. All glory does go to Yahweh, our God of Jacob, our Father. And he will keep you safe. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a great day, everybody.